Hi, in this video we're going to go ahead and uh, encapsulate our form a little better. Um, we're going to leave test.php here as our, as our main PHP script, but we're going to remove our form uh, just to kind of keep it separate and we're going to go ahead and either show or hide that form depending if people are uh, logged into our, to our uh, little test here. So if they are logged in, there's no real reason to show our form. Uh, it wouldn't really make sense. So let's do this uh, using an include uh, keyword here. Uh, include is actually a built-in function for PHP. Uh, and we can make an include uh, function. Uh, we can call that function by just typing include and uh, in either in parentheses or in uh, quotation marks we can put uh, some file that's on the server with the file we're, we're in right now so it would be maybe some file PHP or some file HTML or we could even have plain text uh, some file dot text uh, to name a few so and the way an include function is going to work for us is when this uh, function is called, it's going to return all the text in that uh, file. So you could think of if we had a some file dot text that maybe had um, a list of uh, states in the United States, maybe 50 states. Uh, you can just think of that text replacing uh, this include uh, replacing where we called in the include uh, function here. So from line four. On line four would actually contain many, many lines, uh, 50 lines of, uh, of text. And then after that point where we included it, we can use those. Uh, if they were variables, for example, we could use those variables after, after that point within our uh, test.php. And uh, so let's go ahead and make a new file here in Notepad++. We'll just go File, New. We will save this as, uh, let's go Form. Dot. We could also go form.html, but let's just keep it form form.php for now. And let's go back to a test.php. We're going to cut this HTML out, everything from the form opening tag to the form closing tag. Uh, cut that out. Go back to form.php, paste it in, and save it. Okay, so now. From the last video, we made uh, we made use of this is set function, which returned a uh, boolean to us. So if is set post submit login. So this is pretty much just if the button has been pushed, the submit button has been pushed. Go ahead and set a username variable that we create to uh, to the username input from our text box. Uh, the same thing for the password, and then echo welcome back, and then whatever name they put in the uh, in the box there, so um, else echo please enter your username. So let's go ahead and uh, before this echo statement, we'll write include uh, form.php, and that will be our uh, include function there. And the proper that's just kind of shorthand. The proper way of doing this would be with the parentheses, so that that shows you it is a function, but um, PHP just kind of has a built-in shorthand way of doing that. Uh, even though it is a function, we, we can access that without the parentheses, uh, which is a special case there. So um, so we'll include the form.php and then echo, please enter your username. So let's go ahead and save that and, and kind of see what we did here. Okay, so we just reloaded the page. Um, we see the form here. We see please enter your username. Let's type in, um, actually it doesn't really matter what we type. Um, Neil and we submit welcome back Neil and you can see our form is gone so let's go back to our code and and see why our form disappeared um, so our include our include function uh, which included our form.php which is this file only happened when this was not true when this uh, condition was false so if the button has not been pushed yet which uh, in our case means the page was freshly loaded and nothing happened yet. Um, if, if that was not the case, then, then skip all of this code here, go straight to our else, oopsie, go straight to our el, um, else uh, statement here, include our file, so that would be the exact same as doing this, if we cut that and replace all that with this, uh, with this, uh, 
uh, HTML here. That would be the exact same, except this would uh, have to be a string, so it would be an echo, some form of an echo uh, uh, statement there, and we would have to escape out of all the uh, of all the double quotation marks. Also, we'd have to for each qu double quotation mark, we would have to put a little backslash there, which is a real pain. So that's why we just uh, that's why we just included that in a uh, in an include file, and. Um, and so that, that's that's our include function. So we're going to go ahead and continue to use that. <coughs> excuse me in the next video, and uh, we'll continue with our login form. Thanks for watching.